Um, my name is Gina. I am Yasmin's mom. Uh, we came here because Yasmin, um, two years ago, Yasmin starts. Um, we went on holiday and I found out that Yasmin was sleeping a lot. And um, then we came back home, which, was, which is England. And Yasmin went back to school and I realized that each time I went to pick up Yasmin, she would come almost sleepy from the school. And um, I thought something was wrong with her. Uh, maybe she was taking something with her friends and she would deny it. But um, I start looking and following her closely, and she was sleeping all the time. So when I decided to take her to the first doctor, and they thought that she had um, a problem on her brain, so they did an MRI to her brain to see if there was anything, because she, at the time she was also falling. She was sleeping and falling down when. So they thought that she had a tumor or something on her brain and then they did the MRI and they decided they didn't do anything. Then they said, sent us to another doctor who I explained that she was sleeping a lot and, um, and she was having this problem, she couldn't concentrate, she couldn't eat on the table, she would fall, fall on the table with the food on her mouth. And um, one of the doctors said it was possibly um, uh, narcolepsy or other sleeping problems or cataplexia. And then um, they sent us again to another doctor and they, from there we start the tests and we have been doing lots of tests from the last two years up to, up to recently. To last month, she has done um, an operation to her uh, agnoids and and, uh, and tonsils to see if um, things were getting better. But still, she is still the same. Uh, she was still the same, sleeping all the time. We don't know how she. They stop her from going to school. The school didn't want her there because it was a big responsibility because she was sleeping and um, she could fall asleep anytime. So. She was uh, away from school for a long time, and then I decided to, to take the responsibility and put her back in school. And then they prescribed her some kind of a tablet that kept her awake for 72 hours. She became, with that tablet, she became very, very aggressive because she was awake for 72 hours, and she was uh, being very uh, irritated with all of us, and. Uh, so I decided to stop the tablet as well. And the doctors haven't found anything, so they were, just, they were just studying and studying from one doctor to the other, from one another doctor to the other. I was crying every single day. Because <laughs> I didn't know what to do anymore. <laughs> so then I told my husband that and it was better for us to come to India on holiday and maybe we see an, uh, another doctor. So we arrived last Saturday and um, the first thing we did was uh, to come on Monday and uh, we saw the doctor here. The next day Yasmin had the sleeping study with, which she had done a few times in London but nothing was solved. And after the sleeping study, she, the doctor prescribed a tablet. And for the first time, we saw Yasmin awake. Almost all day. So Yasmin now has been feeling better. And um, since she started taking the medicine, she can see things, she, she can play with them. With the brother and sister, she can talk with us on the table. She can talk with us and see everything that we are seeing. While before she was always sleeping, she couldn't do anything. Now she's awake. And for me, this is like a miracle. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Yasmin. And... Um Two years ago, we went on holiday. From um, it was this, so it was summer, so we went on holiday to Portugal, 
and um, my family kept on saying that I was sleeping a lot and I didn't know this because I just like fell asleep without knowing anything and then woke up feeling normal and so um, when we came back to England we went to a private hospital in um, Marlborough Street and they were saying how that I might have a tumour in my brain and there might be something wrong with me so we had a MRI and they found nothing wrong so they sent me to another private doctor in another private hospital um, and he was saying how you might have narcolepsy or cataplexia because um, like in the night I'll be screaming imagining people were there and having um, illusions and I'll be like awake having the illusions and I would feel like when I first before I go to sleep I'd feel like, like someone's that I'm disabled and like someone's pushing me down or some some weight or something and so then we went they sent us to another doctor to have a um my sleep study and they didn't they said that um I was falling asleep very quickly and that I would wake up feeling no more than three seconds and they were saying how um we don't know if it's narcolepsy or cataplexia so we'll do more studies so it'll like it would take like six months for them to get back to us and it was really annoying because it's like it just kept on getting worse and worse and worse and they um when before, when we came back they said that i had to take four months off school to um because the school because like i could like fall asleep in school or do something that i wouldn't know i'll be doing and so so my nan put him back my mom took put him back in school and short, short, short. <laughs> my mom put me back in school and um, I just like kept on I didn't know that I was like falling down and falling asleep but then my friends started to realize that I was falling asleep in class I would get detentions and things and my studies were my grades were really going down and so we had we sent us to another doctor within like four months and the doctor just kept on kept on giving us like sleep sleep studies and as my um, mom said that they gave me a um, med pill it was a pill and i just like went crazy and i didn't know that i was doing these things and the pill was like over 18 and i wasn't 18 at the time i was 12 and so um, they gave me that to see if i would sleep better and it ended up i ended up staying awake for 72 hours so and they sent me to the next doctor they were just like giving me techniques to try and get better on my sleep it the techniques did work but i find that i was still sleeping more and so we came to we came to india on holiday and my now my mum was like we should go and see a sleep doctor because they like they they specialize in these things and so we came here we explained to the doctor what my situation was and she said that okay we'll do a sleep study and we'll see what we have to do next and after the sleep study happened like one day later they gave me they subscribed me with a um, medicine and when i took it i like for the first time i actually like saw everything without falling asleep and it felt really good i felt i felt normal but i didn't feel as if i had the need to stay awake all the time so it just felt like I was me again and um, now I just feel mm, I feel fine and I feel like I can like see more and experience that everyone else is experiencing and feel the same way as they do and I have like nothing more to say anymore <laughs>